So everybody wants to know, how do I get my pictures to look from this to this? Look no further, my friends. You're about to learn everything you need to know in just a few minutes. We're going to start with smoothing out the skin. First, import your picture in Photoshop. You can then see it in the layer panel on the right. Now select it and hit Ctrl plus J to duplicate the picture. We're going to add some smoothness to this one and then blend it with the one below. Let me show you how. Select the first layer and go to the filter menu on top. Then find neural filters. Then in the menu, find skin smoothing. Click the toggle to enable it. Then turn the blur slider and the smoothness slider to the right to increase the smoothness. Then on the bottom, select smart filters. That way we can still adjust it afterwards. Then click on OK. Now we're back in our canvas. It's time to blend both pictures together. To do that, select the layer with the smoothness applied and click the mask icon. This will add a mask to the picture, but it won't really do anything. We're gonna need to invert it first. To do that, hit Ctrl plus I on your keyboard. As you can see, the smoothness layer is now invisible. Next, we're gonna make specific parts of this image visible again by using the brush tool. We can use this to paint back the smoothness. Now head over to the color selector and make sure the color is set to white. Next up, we're gonna adjust the brush properties on the top bar. Here you can adjust the size and hardness. For me, a size around 350 works fine. For the hardness, set it to as smooth as possible. Then move to the right side and here you can see the opacity property. Set the opacity to around 50%. Now head back to your canvas and start brushing some of the imperfections on the skin. Keep doing that until you're done and this is what it looks like. Now there are always some parts on the image that are hard to remove. So to do that anyway, you can use one of the healing tools. In this video, we're going to use the patch tool. Head over to the layer panel and make sure the first picture is selected since this is the one with the imperfections. Now in your canvas, draw a selection around a spot and drag it to a smooth part of the skin. Photoshop will now blend it so that the spot will disappear. On this picture, we're going to fix some yellow teeth. There's a few methods you can do, but this one is my favorite. In the layer panel, select your image and hit Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. This will create a duplicate. We're going to use this layer to make the teeth white. Make sure the top layer is selected and go to the filter menu on top. Then find camera raw filter. In this new window, go to the left and find the color mixer. Make sure saturation is selected. Grab the color target adjuster and go to the teeth. Click and hold it and then Photoshop will detect the colors of the tooth. Now drag your mouse to the left to decrease the saturation. Don't worry about the skin changing as well. We'll fix that later. Next, click on luminance and again, click the teeth and make them a little brighter. Now when all that's done, click on OK. Now we're back in the canvas and we have two layers, one original and the one we just edited. Now in the first one, we only want the teeth to be selected and to do that, go to the toolbar. Then choose the quick selection tool and go to your picture. Now drag to select the teeth of your talent. If your selection is a little bit too big, simply hold down shift to shrink it. Now when you're done, click the mask icon and there you go. Now to make your picture look even better, you're gonna need a basic understanding of the toolbar and to learn everything about that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.